Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Side Hustle Seattle. Now, as you already know, there's literally an AI tool for everything. But today I want to talk about one that I found that I think is so dope, and it's called HeyGen. And essentially what it does is create AI avatars of yourself. So if you've ever thought like, you know, I really wish I could just clone myself so that way I can do more content creation, like this is the answer for that. So whether you want to use an avatar of yourself for like, you know, content creation, promos, courses, you name it, this is a tool where you can make a pretty much exact digital copy and use it for all of those reasons. So let's just get into how it works because honestly, it's pretty simple. Hey there, welcome to HeyGen, where you can create and translate videos without a camera or crew. I may not look like it, but I'm an AI avatar and I can speak your audience's language. Hablo 175 idiomas. Sie können auch vorhandene Videos mit KI-Stimme und Lippensynchronisation übersetzen. That's the magic of HeyGen. What can we help you create? Now, first things first, why would somebody even want an exact avatar of themselves? I know in some ways it kind of seems creepy, um, but I talk to a lot of people who want to do content creation, but they just get nervous. They're shy about it. They don't like their voice. They feel like they're going to mess up. They feel like they're going to be judged. It's still you, but it's kind of a way you can like disassociate yourself from it a little bit more. And I feel like it would help a lot of people who get more camera shy. Um, so you can still have a presence, but you don't necessarily need to like set up all of the filming equipment. And speaking of filming equipment, that's also a great reason. Not everybody wants to sit and edit and film and have the lighting and do all of these things, right? And so you can streamline a lot of that with just having um, an AI avatar of yourself because you can change the background and do all of that. So it's a lot easier way for you to present videos. I'd say the last thing, it's just convenient, right? There's only so many videos that I can sit here and make because I have other things I have to do. With the AI avatar, because you can do like, you know, a text-based script, or you can just give them a voice recording and it'll go and kind of film the whole thing for you, you can churn out a lot of content in a very short amount of time. Before I actually show you how to create the avatar, just how does it work in a nutshell? So really all you have to do is provide it a two to three minute video of you talking, and it's going to create an exact digital copy of yourself. So the avatar will move and speak and have the mannerisms of you without actually being you, which is really cool. And like I said, you can either give it like a text file that you wanted to say, so you can text out your exact script, pick from a number of different accents, and it can repeat that, or you can give it an audio file. So let's say you wanted to have your exact voice, you can just record your voice and then have your AI avatar mimic that as well. So super convenient. Okay, so let's just go in and check out the homepage and then create our avatar. So this is my first time doing this as well. So as you can see, there's like public avatars that you can already use. If for whatever reason you don't want it to be a clone of yourself, you can just use all the pre-made ones as well and uh, go from there. So it's nice because they have a pretty diverse group of avatars that you can use, but we're gonna create our own because I want my own. So I'm gonna go to create avatar. I'm just gonna skip that, but we're just gonna go straight into what's next. So let's go to get started. Now there's two different avatars it looks like you can pick. So the motion one and then the still one. I'm going to do the still one. I don't need a motion one. So I'm going to just go with the still one and let's go from there. Okay. So from now it's just like, what are the instructions? I prefer to read my instructions, quite frankly. So let's see what the instructions are. Okay. So it says submit two to five minutes of footage, high resolution. I'm just going to film it on my phone. Uh, look directly in the camera while lit. Pause between sentences with mouth closed. That's going to be hard for me because I talk so quick and use generic hand gestures below the chest. Again, gonna be hard. Stitch your cut footage, okay. So this is essentially the stuff that you should do when sending in your video. And the video is what they're gonna use to train their AI model to essentially make that avatar of you. So I'll go to next step. Okay, so from here, now I need to film a video to upload for them to be able to use to train it. So I'll be back while I film that video. I've officially done my video and honestly, I just talked about absolute nonsense. It's funny because anytime I'm like filming for content creation, I feel like all of a sudden I end up with like 15 minutes of footage out of nowhere, but it, it seemed like two minutes to record like a random video it took me forever. So I'm just gonna go ahead and upload that. Okay, so now my video is uploaded. It's just right over two minutes and I try to talk really slow and clear so that way I can use it. So hopefully it turns out okay. So now I just need to sign off. You know, is my face visible at all times? Yes. Was I looking directly in the camera? Yes. Were there pauses? Yes. And is the environment well lit and quiet? Yes. 
ambient sound recording, sure, whatever. Um, my footage looks good, absolutely. So these ones right here, you have to pay for, so I'm not doing that. So my footage looks good. And then it says, to prevent misuse of technology, we need to confirm the person in the video is you. So let's record a video one. Okay, so now my consent is validated, so they know that I've signed off that I want them to use me as an avatar. I'm gonna click Submit. Here it is right here, let's go ahead and click on that. with it. Also, click the feedback button to share what you think. Hope you enjoy. Okay, you know, I see a little couple things here and there I changed, but so far, I think I like it. I like it. So let's go ahead and let's see if I can create a little bit of a video. So I'm going to do a landscape one. I'm going to go into the studio. Okay, so here's my avatar right here. And there's a couple ways you can do it. So here is the script. I'm going to actually, let's see if this avatar, let's see if the avatar can do the rest of my video for me. Okay. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to copy paste the rest of my script that I was going to talk about with you all in this right now. I'm going to submit it and I'm going to have the avatar finish out this video. Let's try it. So how can you use this? Here are a few ideas. YouTube videos. Pump out more content consistently, even on busy weeks. Online courses. Record lessons without refilming every module. Promotional videos. Showcase your brand or product effortlessly. Social media content. Create reels, TikToks, or shorts on the fly. The possibilities are endless. Plus, HeyGen supports multiple languages, so you can reach a global audience with ease. HeyGen is seriously a game changer especially if you're a content creator or entrepreneur looking to scale. If you've been hesitant about getting in front of the camera or just want to save time, give it a shot. Hmm. Now that you've seen it, what do you think? Now, I'm not going to lie. I have some skepticism. So I think it's good. I think there's different tweaks I can make if I upload a few other videos to make sure that it knows exactly how I look. Maybe I'll get better lighting so that way it's more spot on. And I didn't use my um, voice to do the script. I just did the text to voice. And so I think there's some different ways I can make it look and feel more realistic, but I'm interested. I'm interested if, if I would actually ever use it in that way. And I only say that because I feel like you, you always know when somebody's using an avatar. And I immediately think like anytime somebody's using an AI avatar, I think of like they're disingenuous, right? So I'm trying to be curious if, if I would actually use this in real life, but let me know what you think. Let me know if you would try this. If you're interested in trying HeyGen, I'll put some links in the description for you, but definitely curious your thoughts. Thank you as always for watching. Catch you next one.